Richard, when you think about inequality, inequality in the UK, and it's a hot topic, and you think about, as you'd like the banking sector to be uh, decentralised, flatter structure, more resilient, how do you begin to uh, talk to the public or the political class about achieving those goals? Essentially, you know, if, if, if um, we want to produce something, we need funding, so there's a role for banks in almost everything that's happening in the economy. But what exactly is that role? I just quickly, I'd like to reflect on that. Banks are being thought of as intermediaries, but this is not really what's happening. Banks... What, what are they then? They're creators of the money supply. So you're firmly of the view that banks create money out of thin air? Yes, well, I, I produced the first empirical studies to prove that um, in the 5,000-year history of banking. Banks are thought of as uh, deposit-taking institutions that lend money. The legal reality is banks don't take deposits and banks don't lend money. So what is a deposit? A deposit is not actually a deposit. It's not a bailment. It's not held in custody. Uh, at law, the word deposit is meaningless. The law courts and various judgments have made it very clear if you give your money to a bank, even though it's called a deposit, this money is simply a loan to the bank. That's true. Yeah. So there is no such thing as a deposit. So There's you think it's poorly and it's adequately named then? So mm. banks borrow from the public. OK, so that much we've established. What about lending? Surely they're lending money. Um, no, they don't. Banks don't lend money. Banks, again, at law, it's very clear, they're in the business of purchasing securities. That's it. So you say, OK, don't you know, confuse me with all that legalese. No. I want a I, loan. I want a loan. Yeah. Fine. Here's the loan contract. Here's the offer letter. And you sign. At law, it's very clear, you have issued a security, namely a promissory note. And the bank is going to purchase that. That's what's happening at Put law. it in layman's terms. What does that mean? It means that um, what the bank is doing is very different from what it presents to the public that it's doing. How does this fit together? So you say, fine, the bank purchases my promissory note, but how do I get my money? I want, you know, it's a loan, I want, I want 200 my money. Grand, right? I don't care about the details, I want the money. The bank will say, well, you'll find it in your account with us. That would be technically correct. If they say, we'll transfer it to your account, that's wrong, because no money is transferred at all. It's already From in the bank. anywhere inside the bank or outside the bank. Why? Because what we call a deposit is simply the bank's record of its debt to the public. Now, it also owes you money, and its record of the money it owes you is what you think you're getting as money. And that's all it is. And that is how the banks create the money supply. The money supply consists to 97% of bank deposits. And these are created out of nothing by banks when they lend because they invent fictitious customer deposits. Why? They simply restate, slightly incorrectly in accounting terms, what is an accounts payable liability arising from the loan contract having purchased your promissory note as a customer deposit, but nobody has deposited any money. I wonder how the FCA deals with this, because in the financial sector you're supposed to not mislead your customers. <laughs> Other people have, have, uh, have created a promissory note, which is literally a, a piece of paper that says, I promise to pay the bearer the, um, the sum of blah, blah, blah. And you sign it, date it, and now that becomes a specie of money according to the Bill of Exchange Act. Um, in fact, the, the money in your pocket is a promissory note. Somewhere it says, I promise to pay the bearer, and there's somebody's signature on it. Um, and it's actually a, a, um, a, an invalid promissory note because it's not dated. Um, um, or actually, that's wrong. <laughs> that's actually wrong. Um, it's on demand, so it is dated. It's not actually getting away with stuff. This is the thing you've got to get, um, you've got to get out of your head because what, what's really happening is they're getting away with it. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. yeah, you're just um, yeah. you're just coming back into your power yeah. and and saying no, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to give away my signature anymore. Yeah. This is what you're doing. Your signature is the most powerful thing on this planet. Yeah, um, your signature is worth an unlimited amount, and this is the thing we don't realise. We have the power. You can go into a bank, okay, and come away with. A hundred thousand pounds as a loan, yeah. What do they take from you for that hundred thousand pounds? Your signature, just your signature. You see the power of that signature now. 
Yeah? So with your signature, if you write your promissory note, you've created money. And that money is your promise to pay. Your promise to work, use your energy. Yeah? That's all there is. Your unlimited energy. And that is what the money is. And you supply it, not banks. What well, you think about it, they don't teach us at school anything about money. I mean, money is about the most important thing in this society. Why don't they teach us anything about it? They can't. Don't they? they can't. It's a, it's it's a confidence trick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's 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 180 degrees from way the way we think of it. Uh, you know, we think that money comes from somebody else, but it actually comes from us. Yeah. You know, when you when you get a, a loan, when you get a loan, they present you with a loan agreement. Yeah. What do you think that loan agreement is? It's a promissory note. Yeah. I promise to pay back three times the amount if it's a mortgage, yeah? yeah. You know? So that what they do with that promissory note, they monetize it. They put it into an account and cash it. And now they give you that money and say, now you have to pay it back to us. But you created that money. You know, it's your promissory note. You created that money. So transaction's over with. You don't have to pay them back because they didn't do anything. They just, they just went, um, thank you very much, and here you go.